So when you uh, fire up the car, you're gonna get, get a message something like the auxiliary um, battery malfunction and you'll also probably get a message something like AAS defective. Um, so then when you scan the codes, you'll see that uh, like this, the front SAM module, you have the additional battery has a malfunction and um, ignore all this other stuff. And then also the, the in the ESP, you'll have the butter, bu buffer battery has a malfunction. So that means that your uh, auxiliary battery is most likely dead or dying. In my case, the message would only show up after uh, uh, the vehicle sat for a couple of days. Um, after driving it for a little while, it seems that the battery would recharge, but then uh, it would die again. So I'm going to go ahead and replace the battery and, uh, and then we'll get these codes cleared and hopefully the messages won't show up again. All right, so getting to the auxiliary battery, um, it's under the uh, the main battery, which is under the center here. So the way, the easiest way is you move both the front seats up um, and then you pull your floor mat out if you have one back here. Um, and then this whole cover comes up. Uh, there's a couple screws that hold it down. These two right here. So you just loosen those, get rid of that. And then you've got your uh, toolkit here and you've got your main battery. So we need to take the main battery out and that'll give us access to the auxiliary battery, which is underneath. All right, so we've got the main battery out of the way and underneath there, you can see that's where the auxiliary battery is hiding. Um, and actually on a side note, that's where your, this is your air pump for your seats. Um, that's where that lives. So if you ever have an issue with your seats not working, um, like your, your bolsters and that sort of thing, it's usually that air pump. And I was actually, uh, I was able to clean mine up instead of replacing it. I just had, I just took it apart, cleaned up the, uh, the magnets on the motor and it started working again. So that's where that lives and you can usually you can access it from this end um you li lift up the carpet actually no sorry you you just you pull the the cover out and so you usually i don't think you even have to pull the battery out to get to it but it's easier obviously with the battery out of the way anyway so now uh, we'll pull, pull the auxiliary battery out and uh, we'll get the new one in so to get the auxiliary battery out um you've got a this ground cable down here that's held in by a 13 millimeter nut so you got to take that off first and then underneath that you'll see that there is a, a 10 millimeter that holds this uh, black bracket down um, so in order to get to that 10 millimeter you got to remove that 13 to get that cable out of the way and then you can use the 10 to uh, undo that nut to get the to get the uh, the hold down bracket out So then we just undo these cables. They've got 10 millimeter bolts that hold them in place. And that lets us get the battery out. So this is the original Mercedes battery. This is the new one that I got. It's actually a uh, just a motorcycle power sport battery. Um, model number is 14 BS. It's exactly the same size as the old Mercedes one. Um, so we just gotta fill it with acid um, and uh, drop it in there. Okay, so we've got our new battery here filled up with acid, got it charged up. I had it on a charger for a couple hours. Um, they they tell you in the instructions after you fill it to, uh, to charge it. Um, it was reading 12.9 volts right after I filled it, so didn't really need a charge, but anyway. So I've reattached the negative cable here. You just, uh, it comes with these little square nuts. So you just put them in there um, and then you uh, reattach the cable. So the negative is reattached here and then we'll get it back in its spot and then reattach the positive and uh, everything should work after that. Okay, so the battery is in, got the connections all tightened up, got the bracket back on. It fits exactly the same as the old Mercedes one. 
Um, so it should be all good now. I rerouted this cable before it was sitting over here and the actual, the, the big battery was sitting on top of it, which isn't ideal. I'm assuming this little spot here is meant for this cable to sit in. So whoever changed the battery before um, just stuck the battery on top of that cable. So um, I've moved it over now. So now I can put the, uh, the, uh, the big battery back in and reconnect it and uh, we should be all good. Okay, so we've got the main battery back in, reconnected. Um, put this little cover back on. And um, reconnect our vent line. Um, now this new battery, it doesn't have a, a hole for a vent on the side of it. So I'm just going to put the vent line onto this main battery. And uh, that'll be good enough. I mean, it's not really venting anywhere anyway, considering that vent doesn't doesn't go outside. But uh, yeah, so now we've got the battery in. I can take our cover, put that back on. Just got to make sure our uh, bolts are lined up on the bottom side because they got to go into those two plastic holes there notched ones and there we go tighten that down and that's secure now so now we can put our little cup holder back